Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next episode of New Girl. This is season one, episode 21, titled Kids. So we're moving along with the season. I think we're almost done, but um, last time was the normal episode where everything was anything but normal. Winston was um, dipping his beans in uh, the dude's shake. He has that job. I don't think he's a babysitter anymore, thank God. Um, what else is happening? Jess is still dating Russell. Russell seems like a cool dude. I kind of like him. I, I don't really know what, what what's the end game for that, because I doubt they're going to last. But for the time being, I'm enjoying it, you know. Mm, kids? I don't know. Are they stuck babysitting? I doubt it's going to be anything like the movie Kids, because that's that would be pretty fucked. Um... I don't know, yeah, with these characters and their wacky situations and that they find themselves in, I can't wait to see what, what goes on here. So let's just hop in and have a good time and discuss it after. But before we do, I want to remind you guys, Patreon for the full-length, uncut, unedited reaction. So if you want to skip the YouTube highlights and get some early access, Patreon's the place to do it. Of course, if you can't support me over there, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking. Hop in, have a good time, discuss it afterwards. All right, guys, here we go. Wait, you're using birth control. Oh, my God, you're not pregnant. Yeah, it's just that Schmidt gets so athletic that birth control becomes like one of those plastic barbecue covers in a hurricane. What? I didn't want to know that. <laughs> okay, the pregnancy test doesn't work until after six days. Don't tell Schmidt until you're sure. Yeah, no, of course not. Of course, it's just... Ah. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about what a Schmidt baby would be. A little schmidt -it. <laughs> I don't know. Would it just want to nurse 24 hours a day? <laughs> Probably. Milk, mama. Like a douche baby jar. Damn. <gasps> oh my god. At least you'll be set for his college fun. Oh my, Jess, have you finally agreed to be our third? Because you know we've discussed- That'd be hot. About Schmidt, that Schmidt, this is not the time. Uh, Schmidt, we were just thinking about what you might have been like as a baby. They say that I needed a magnum-sized diaper. Oh my god, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Stay in my room, Schmidt. Cece's resting. Hey guys, um, listen up. Uh, Sarah's gonna be here in a few minutes, so best behavior. Sarah? Russell's daughter, so no F-bombs. Oh. Actually, no B through S-bombs, no bombs. And no bringing home college girls, Berlusconi. So what's with the babysitter? I think he's actually testing me. I think he's seeing if I can be a mom. Um, Nick, uh, put on some pants. Yeah. Hi, Miss Day. Hi, Sarah. She looks familiar. Cece's acting really <laughs> weird. Do you think she's getting tired of me? I mean, I, what can I do if she doesn't let me hit the fifth chakra? I'm not listening to you. I'm just I'm hit just the saying, fifth do you think chakra. You something more than sex, because I can't handle that, man. Hey, boss, what are you doing? Hmm? Schmidt, shut up. Just a second, okay? What about costumes? I gotta go. Made her dress up too much. Look, man, I'm not gonna sit here and bond with you about this, all right? I gotta go babysit my boss. Dip your beans in a shake. Hey, you must be Sarah. Your eyes are so brown. <laughs> you look like poop. Be honest with me. Do my eyes look like poop? There's a bit of a, a poopy issue. Old poo eyes. <laughs> Old poo eyes. Oh, hey, I like your house. It's not my house. Go, go, anyone, it's anyone. I didn't think he would be an actual character. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Why do you have so many bras? You're a teacher. Teachers need bras too. Why are you going through her stuff? What are you doing? Are you doing homework because you're dating my dad? No. I know having your teacher dating your dad is weird, Um, but I just want you to know that um, you can ask me anything. Really? Yeah, anything. Are what? My dad. Do you and my dad ever dry lump? Dry yeah. lump? Is sexting cool? What? No. Have you done a 99? A what? How do you make love to a person animal style? Why? I think it's time that I take you on a real date. You're asking me out on a date? Yeah, it'll be our first real date. I thought they went out, um... To breakfast that one time. That was kind of like a date. I can't go right now. It's a really bad time, okay? I'm sorry. Just take someone else. Take someone else? That's what this is. What? That's the deal. Just take someone else, okay? I'll ask somebody else. I'll just, yeah, totally. 
And with these VIP tickets I got, Papa Corno. What? Papa Corno. It's popcorn in Italian. As your friend, Jess, not in the mm. day, just choose someone who makes you laugh. Like Nick? Yeah, I mean, wait, what? I love Nick so, so, so much. He's so hot. That Nick? I want to rub my face on his face. Ugh. You got jeans on, baby? Are they tight? <laughs> I buy them big. Oh, them jeans sound sexy. Everything all right? You want to hang out more, Schmidt? You still keeping it tight? <laughs> what? I thought this is what you wanted. This is a really good example of people who should not be making love. I love Nick so, so, so much. He's so you don't know die. what love is. Disney movies be brainwashing these kids, okay? Sarah, not Nick's room. It's not well ventilated in there. I'll be honest. I don't care about any of this. Schmidt asked me out. Oh, like he came over he and he asked me out. out and I really can't go on a date with him right now. Because the situation is like that. How Sarah, listen to me. All right, listen to me. All right, you little brat. You just need to be quiet because I need my friend to focus on me right now. So what are you doing, Cece? To play your dysfunction rub off on her. I'm going to be a terrible mother. No, no, no. A terrible mother. Shh. You make this right, okay? Hey, Sarah, you should definitely not be having sex right now at this age. Even if he says it's tantric and you're Indian and you know better, you're just going to end up pregnant anyways. What? Well, Cece, are you pregnant? Oh, oh, my God. We made a caramel miracle. Shut. You pregnant. You pregnant. <laughs> I need to be a godparent. Don't ask. I'm not ready to be an uncle. You're not my brother. Okay, Schmidt, are you sure you're okay about this? Because I'm freaking out by the fact that you're not freaking out. Maybe this isn't exactly in my five-year plan, but maybe this is fate. That was crazy what happened with my friends, right? I liked it. Your life's like Gossip Girl. Did you wash your hands, little girl? Don't you think Nick is hot? Nick? Um, yeah. In a rumpled, small-town PI kind of way. What's he like in the morning? Do his eyes get sleepy? Does he love stuff? I want to love what he loves. Do you think that we'll ever do animal style? Four minutes, we eat in four. I need to do a background check on whoever wrote this episode. <laughs> I get it's supposed to be funny, but I'm just like, ooh, ooh. I will support you no matter what. Thank you. That's very beautiful. I'll give you a quick head. She's not pregnant. I'm probably going to be going on the internet before we have sex again because I I just, I don't want to impregnate the baby. I mean, we could have a Russian nesting doll situation on our hands. What? Are you stupid? So, uh, as Sarah and I learned to use the uh, pasta maker today, which is cool. You and Nick making love. Hmm? What? Hey, I'm watching you. Do you want to go help Chloe with the dessert? I hate her. Oh, come on, you don't hate her. Yes, I do. I know her. She used to ride on my school bus. No, 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 Wait, what? Oh my god! You were the crazy little kindergartner who had like the imaginary friends. Oh, and you're that skank with a skank face. I know you're trying to look cool in front of you know who. What? You told him? No. You just told I him. I did not tell him. God. Oh my god, Jet! Oh. What are you saying? When was the last time you were on a school bus? Last year. How old are you? 18. Hey, you know what, Chloe? I actually think I subbed for your eighth grade English class. That's right. Hi, Miss Day. Hi. 18, though. How old are they supposed to be? I mean, that's not nearly as creepy as the little girl creeping on Nick. <laughs> 18 years old. She was 18 years old. This is a disaster. Uli's downstairs. She called me. She wants to be let up. I might as well call you Bridge to Terabithia because you make children cry. And you, I might as well call you Indian in the cover because you put a... Indian and mm. Never mind. Okay. We're gonna fix this because I'm not losing Russell because you two have to make and or date babies. You wanna rephrase that? No. I'm gonna go do yeah. Uli. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sarah, I know that you're oh, my to Jesus. Me right now, but I promise you, you're gonna find someone better. No, I never will. I can be a bit of an anchor. I've been known to drag women down. That is true. All you have to do, Nick, is break her heart. She, she's a kid. She'll get over it. Fuck. Sarah, I haven't loved somebody the way you love me in a very long time. And I miss that feeling. What are we doing? Sarah. Sarah, please. Sarah, please come out. I can't come out. I'm too embarrassed. In front of us, we are literally the most embarrassing people on the planet. Trust me. I'm 30 years old, and I've peed in every pool I've been into. Every single one. 
I originally grew these bangs because I hate my forehead. I still think it's funny when a guy puts tennis balls under his shirt and pretends it's boobs. <laughs> they look like little boobs. <laughs> <laughs> They look like little boobs. I do so many stupid things. You don't even know. I mean, like, falling for your dad. That was so crazy. And I, <sighs> I understand why you're confused. I'm confused. Is she confused? Dad. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't oh. know how to get them off. Oh. Okay. Why did you do that? Okay, I'll get the front. I'll get the back. Hey, guys. Uh, she's coming. Ooh, he's coming. Ooh, I failed. I failed. I'm sorry. Who is the man taking the bras off my daughter? That's definitely a line. Who wrote this episode? <laughs> she got her period. So happy. Welcome to our home. Would you like a drink? You have a beautiful daughter and a beautiful ex-husband. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. I had a really great time. Thanks, Sarah. Let's go. OK. Thanks for coming by. Oh, sure. Bye, Uli. You really. Bye, Jess. Damn. I mean, Jess is a mess, but <laughs> that could have gone worse. But that was definitely a weekend. We just go back to the way things were. Sex. He's disappointed slightly. No more stupid mistakes, right? Right. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, see, see, let's just, you yeah. know, there's a marathon downtown, and I don't want you to hit the traffic. Okay, okay don't hit the okay. top. Terrible car for a baby anyway. Aww. I never knew Italy was so much more than pizza, Schmitty. It's so much more. You know what, Schmitty? Business idea. We should buy skaters. Yeah! Do something weird, Mussolini. We love you. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was New Girl Season 1, Episode 21, titled Kids. That was a pretty good episode. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Okay to good. The stuff I didn't really care about was the uh, the Winston stuff with Joe, that guy from the last episode, you know, where the, with the milkshakes. I don't know. He's just not that, not that interesting, not that funny. I didn't actually expect him to be a, a character that came back into the story. I just thought he was going to be a one-off. That wacky guy with the milkshakes. I thought that was going to be his one and done episode. But it looks like he's going to be a part of the story for a little bit. And whatever happened to, to Winston's girl, Shelby. It feels like it's been a minute since we've seen her. And they haven't really referenced her either. So I'm just like, are these characters are just going to come in, come out, like dip in, dip out of the show. Um, and we'll just kind of like catch up with them like through dialogue or something. But I feel like that's probably the weakest angle of the episode so far. I mean, I liked what we were doing with Sarah and um, Jess back at the apartment. The the Nick stuff was was okay. But the with with the uh, his girl who was revealed to be eighteen, which I didn't think was that big of a deal. I mean, how old is is, is Nick? Did they say he's like what? Is he in his thirties? Because that'd be kind of weird if he's in his thirties. Kind of weird, I guess. But I, th I didn't think he's that old, right? I thought he was like mid-20s or late 20s. If so, that's still not that bad. But whatever. Um, it's still not as creepy as literally being the writer who wrote certain lines in this episode. Like, are you who's that man taking the bras off my daughter? daughter? Like, what? Um, the Sarah and Nick stuff is supposed to be funny. I find it kind of like a little weird, but you know, it, it, it did what it was supposed to do. It I, I felt like they could have done more with the the Sarah stuff, just because I feel like if they would have cut out the Nick, like her being in love with Nick, they probably could have focused more on maybe Sarah kind of looking at Jess more of like a mother, because we didn't really do much with her actual mother, like Uli. We see her being like very kind of very straightened together, you know, and Jess is kind of just messy and all over the place. But I kind of wanted to see a little bit more of, I guess, more bonding between the two, uh, more more or less. But the she's the CC and Schmidt stuff was cool. Um, CC not being pregnant, I, I definitely called that. I mean, I don't think they would have like pulled the trigger on that so early into the show, but. It would definitely would have been a surprise. I'll say that much if they if they uh, went went along with that storyline. But um, I don't really know what else to say about the episode. But it was it was okay, okay slash good.
Um, we'll see what happens in the next one going forward. But uh, yeah, we're close to the end there. How many episodes left? Yeah, 24 episodes. And we are definitely almost done with season one. Solid season nonetheless. But I'll just say that there's just some some things I would uh, would have probably edited or rewrote or something. Just me personally. Hopefully Joe it gets better as a character. I don't really like have an investment in him. He just seems too 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 wacky, and and, and it just kind of like drags Winston down because I expect Winston to do more. But that's just me personally. So that's just my opinion. But we'll just uh, end it there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety, options available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. Can't support me over there you can always support me right here on youtube all you gotta do is like comment share subscribe to the channel now i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of new girl which will be season one episode 22 till then adios guys and if you liked what you saw tell your friends tell your family tweet about it and if you didn't like it shut the fuck up